I served in the military uh, January 7th, uh, 74 to January 77. Uh, in the military, I worked for um, S-2 while I was stationed in Alaska, which uh, turned out to be one of my best uh, duty stations besides being stationed at uh, Fort Benning, Georgia with the uh, school brigade with mechanized infantry. One of the most positive things was um, sometimes uh, some of your friends would uh, sometimes turn out to be an officer, which is uh, pretty rare to say. Negative, I would have to say there's definitely some people that have no business being in the military, but at that time the military was uh, cutting down on personnel because uh, it was getting close to the end of the Vietnam period. As far as art, uh, I've always been interested in art. Uh, I've always been the person that if I can see it, I can draw it. And uh, if I could draw it, I could pretty much uh, make it. And uh, as far as a favorite medium in art, I would have to say that I like them all. But uh, one of the better ones, I would say uh, I like working with my hands, uh, uh, building something, uh, whether it be sculpture, woodwork, or now that I find that uh, ceramics is pretty, pretty interesting. Pretty much when I make something, I like it to be uh, usable, not just something that you, you know, build something and put it on a shelf. I like for it to have a function. I like using what I make. I find it relaxing, and then at the same time, it, it, it's creative. It's like, you know, you start doing something, and then you realize you didn't know you had that in you, and then you take it a step further, and then you, you really come to enjoy something instead of just, well, I made a box. Yeah, but... The box has a lid, but it has a secret compartment. So, you know, you're figuring things out as you're working along. I found that art, you know, was relaxing because, you know, if you, you know, you have stress, you know, some people, you know, smoke, drink, you know, and I would find, you know, if I sat down and relaxed drawing or, or pretty much most of the time everybody just call it doodling, but I think it was occupying my time and it was making something creative instead of making something negative about what was going on. Center a little bit, start off. Left hand, try and get it worked on a little bit. Add some water. Keep it centered as much as possible. You can remove some of the water out of the center by using a sponge. And a sponge, you can use it quite a bit as far as softening and even using it as a guide. center you want to work it back and forth so later as your pot goes through the kiln you don't get uh, what's called an S crack and going back and forth helps seals the uh, grains that run, uh, grain pattern that runs inside the clay it's, your clay is just like wood and it has grain to it But uh, this is the bowl that I turned on the wheel, and um, once it was bisque and got hardened and uh, shrank, uh, then I finally got able to reduction glaze, and uh, I find it very therapeutic. With me, I just am not comfortable with the government bureaucracy, and especially with the VA, as far as the length of time it takes just to get a yes or a no, then you got to go through all the other procedure, and it's um, it's to the point where 90% of people don't want nothing to do with it because it's so time consuming. I'm angry because of the bureaucracy. It, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. It wasn't that hard for me to go in and do for my country. It shouldn't be that hard for my country to do for me also. I find that working with clay is just like, you know, when I'm, you know, sitting around doodling and it, it helps take your mind away from, you know, negative thoughts because we're working with your hands is, is relaxing. And then when you're doing something like this, you're doing it for yourself. You don't have nobody standing over your shoulder and giving you negative feedback. Yeah, I usually just um, start out by prepping the um, bat and that's what you'll uh, center your clay on. And just damp it out a little bit. Helps give the uh, clay easier to bond to. And then I'll work uh, some two, about some two pound slabs of clay.
try and work most of the uh, air bubbles out. Center a little bit, start off left hand. 